Hello, I'm Sharon Allen, and in honor of Black History Month, I have a book that I uh, want to read for you. Now, we know that Black History Month is in the month of February, but we know Black History also is 365 days of the year. So the name of this, the book I'm going to read is by Derek Barnes and Gordon C. James. It's called I Am Every Good Thing. They have a dedication page here. It says, I am a nonstop ball of energy, powerful and full of light. I am a go-getter, a different maker, a leader. See him flying through the air there? I am every good thing that makes the world go around. You know, like gravity, or the glow of moon beams over a field of a brand new snow. I am good to the core, like the center of a cinnamon roll. Yeah, that good. See him playing in the snow there with his dog. I am skateboard tricks, scrape knees and elbows. But you know what? I am right back on my feet again. So he scraped his knee, but he got right back up there. I am one eye open, one eye closed, peeking through a microscope, glazing through a telescope, checking out the spaces around me, and plotting out those far off places I have yet to go, but will. I am a gentleman and a scholar. I am kind and polite, like yes ma'am and yes sir. Helping my grandmother across the street and saying bless you when a stranger has to sneeze. Very polite, isn't he? I am a cool breeze. A perfect paper airplane that glides for blocks for miles, forever. See his airplane gliding? I am a roaring flame of creativity. I am a lightning round of questions and a star-filled sky of solutions. I am an explorer planting a flag on every square foot of this planet where I belong. I am a sponge soaking up information, knowledge, and wisdom. I want it all, and I am all ears. She says he's a good listener, too. I am Saturday morning in the sum summertime. I am two bounces and a front flip off the diving board. I am hilarious. I am the life of the party. I am that smile forming on your face right now. I know you're smiling. I am the boom bat, boom, boom bat, when the bass line thumps and the kicks of the drum drums. I am the perfect beat, the perfect rhyme keeping everything on point and always on time. But you already know that. I am a grand slam. Bases fully loaded. I am a nasty two-handed dunk, holding on to the rim just to remind you that I am still the man. Believe that. I am the undisputed champion. I am a highlight reel of magnif magnificence. I am the celebration, the applause, and the standing ovation. I am victory. See, he can play basketball and baseball. I am a brother, a son, a nephew, a favorite cousin, a grandson, I am a friend. I am real. And I am tight hugs, a hand to hold, 
a shoulder to cry on if you have to. I hope you never have to, but I am here. Although I am sometimes like a superhero, e even every now and then, I am afraid. I am not what they might call me, and I will not answer to any name that is not my own. I am what I say I am. I am that sound in the forest where the mighty tree falls. I am waves crashing gently on the shore. I am a force of nature, a miracle, a blessing. I am brave, I am hope, I am my ancestors' wildest dreams. I am worthy of success, of respect, of safety, of kindness, of happiness. See some of his ancestors there? We know some of those people. And without a shadow of a doubt, I am worthy to be loved. I am worthy to be loved. Oh, I chose this book because of probably what's been going on lately where um, some kids, especially little black boys, you know, may not think so highly of themselves. And this writer, I thought, I thought this was a very good book to let them know that uh, they are worthy, you know, um, they're loved, and they're, and they can be anything that they want to be. And, you know, and they don't have to, and um, there's people out there that, that do love them and want them to be whatever they want to be. My hope really is just for people, um, for peace and unity. And the only way to do that is the conversation. And you know, the conversation may be hard. You have to get to know people. And I think that's our problem. We don't know each other. You know, we're separated and uh, we need to come back together. And I'm hoping down the road that we, um, you know, we start to communicate with one another to, um, you know, I ask, do you have any black friends? Do you have any white friends? And if your answer is no, why not? You know, let's get to know each other. Let's have a conversation.